I know this scene sort of in C major, but only sort of. Um, so, right. really, really well done. Um, one of the things that struck me here in just listening to you at a distance of like 15 feet, something like that, um, is that, well, first of all, he plays with a lot of ease and facility, he has very good information. Everything looks you know, beautifully set up. I mean, it's, and that's saying a lot. You know, and it, it really is true. One of the things I think you might want to try for is a lot more range in the play. So that uh, considering the ease in general with which you're able to do this, which um, appears to me to actually be pretty hard. Um, you want to be able to have something in which there's some more distinct voicing, probably a bigger range of dynamics. In fact, that would probably be the biggest uh, kind of simplification I might suggest. I think the character of it is light and buoyant, which I'm certain you want. Um, probably some contrast at the same point to that. But in general, it's the range, and particularly in the upper register, I think there's a lot of drama, or there could be more drama and more voicing, uh, particularly in the second section when you're playing, ray do ray si ray la ray so ray fa ra do la la do so that you've got a little bit more lead in the other lines. Um, I will probably try and give a really half-baked impression of what that might be because you guys. So even at the beginning, what dynamic do you want to have there? Probably more like a forte. Yeah, I think so. I mean you have a boiling stroke, but one of the things I'm thinking about. Wow. Hello Junior. Um, so if you've got um, Next thing, we're about to transition into some triplets. I'm not sure 
army in India. So if I saw the CC, I see they already did that. So you take off on the second beat trailers. You just measure it out again, then it, you can give more direction because it would be a little bit, it's not deliberate, but not rush. Don't try that. Just hold to it. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 
We will not consider. Bye. -bye. Great. Thank you. Lauren is going to play the Alaman from the third suite. Where in that first 
fake keys. <laughs> Sit down. 
In symphony rehearsal, yeah. But for a concert with standard? Oh no, concert with standard too, yeah. All right, all right, all right. But you do a lot of standard, and I, no, I mean, I, I, that's all fine. So, yeah, okay. So that does bring up one other thing. I don't know if you caught this. Um, what happens if you let go of this? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So. Here's the other thing that I throw into the mix, and actually this may be really important. Um, okay, so you're maybe being short. Maybe this is not five six. Five four. Oh, so I'm five six. Um, so one of the things, and for years and years and years, I only played standing up. I occasionally sit down and do an artist rehearsal. But I think through my mid-thirties, I basically play everything standing. So one of the things I try and do as a stand-up player is to have everything balanced. So it's belt and slope, let's say. Um, but what I have is an arrangement so that I've got a lot of freedom of motion. I can go up and down. Yeah, that's close. So then that's pretty much it. But just really quickly, I put the upper bow in front of my hip bone, and I put the lower bow on the flat of my kneecap, so the base rests in there, da da, <laughs> and my own weight is balanced, which is also, and I think yours is anyway. Well, um, if you're moving your foot back, I'm guessing you have more weight than your right foot. Yes. Okay, so if you come forward just a little bit with your right foot, Everything else will be the same. Yeah, and you may need or not need to have um, your feet just a little further apart. And you can turn your left toe a little to the left that way. That'll get more of the flat of the kneecap. Let the base lean back mm -hmm. into you. Yeah, can you do this? We're, just doing doing this. Class. we're not in a yoga class now, so we're great on YouTube. Um, but let me try to do it with this. So the idea is having you can get a lot of power. Gentle, 
other things uh, in lessons, and I won't go into it in detail. But let's imagine that you were connected. It's just kind of practicing. And don't watch your hand. Right? Because if you're here, okay, so just here. Mm-hmm. 
so.
concerts? Just to go yeah, up, we're playing an audition. No repeats in the height? Thank you. 
Maybe that maybe. Okay. But just so long, see what happens. See just the top. Just the top. Like blah blah blah. blah. So,
on everybody. I understand it putting you to work a little bit later. Um, but nonetheless, any of you have any questions for me? I'm happy to answer anything or nothing. Um, but sure. Uh, well, you were talking about standing with Lauren earlier. Do you like shift that balance, like going to lower strings? Like, how do you go about that? Or is it like going balance? Um, but it's a really great question because, of course, for standing up, you need to gain things sitting or standing. It'll vary a little bit depending upon our size, the body shape, and the shape of our face. Uh, might also depend a little bit upon German and French. For me, I can get you know there pretty easily. So if I